We have three kinds of food. Tell me two things that you don't like about millennials. If they don't wear fancy slippers, they've not come outside. You. Is it that furry or is shiny? And see what happened. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cry, don't cry. Then we shoot this to me on their eyes. Ask for why. Hold up. You already know what time it is. It's Crack Street Battle. My name is Onya Demi. And you know when you see me, it's time for violence all the way. So today is all about the Gen Z's versus the Millennial. You know this never identifies that. Gen Z's are dumb. Millennials are so rude. Blah, 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 blah. So we're going to bring it down to the street of Lagos and they're going to battle it out with facts. You know this. You know now. Let's go. Hi, good afternoon. So you're yeah, team what? Team Gen Z. You're yeah, team what? Millennial. Team Gen Z. Yeah, team Millennial. My name is Gen Z. Huh? <laughs> team what? Millennial. Team what? Gen Z. Team Gen Z. Team Millennial. Gen Z. Hmm, as you can see, Millennials. Tell me three things you don't like about Gen Z. Gen Z's are very rude. Ah! Now, if you see a Gen Z on the road, they cannot even greet you properly. Hi, darling! What's hi? What angry? Good afternoon. Oh, like, Learn to be respectful. Put some respect on my name. Don't don't say what's high. Am I your mate? No, I mean, see, let us learn how to respect ourselves. I understand. They feel like it's just like the woke generation. You are rude. You are rude. Like be be um um Aries. I mean, what all of these are star signs. Hey, calm down, cancer. Calm down. <laughs> Please calm down. Calm down. Be I'm cancer. I'm, I'm not about rude, don't rude, about lay on lay, oh, lay on lay news. Are you mad or something? Why are you behaving like a person that you want to live 1,000 years in this world? They feel that they are the best. You know who you blame me? That their voice is the loudest. Today, and that they can do whatever they want and get the results like instantly. Amen. Amen. And that's not how to go about it. How? These guys, they think they are very smart, but <laughs> they are that block upstairs. Amen. They are, I shouldn't use the F word, but they are, they are F word people. Because <laughs> <laughs> they feel like they know too much, but they ain't no shit. You know nothing. Their dress sense is just too funny. They just follow whatever, they wear whatever. I got you some design or some Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. They don't keep to appointments. What is the problem, man? Uh, in corporate world, um, you give them eight, they come maybe nine, ten, and they feel it's okay. Our crews, our crews, nothing more. Secondly, um, you have like a group of ten friends, and um, everybody has gone around everybody. Oh, Wait, um, everybody has gone around as in how? You know, twer twer. You know, Ruga said like Yoruba guys, they knock anything, like they knock. With each other they don't have that they really don't have that moral ethical value like you know we the oldest you know is you my dear okay if you gather 10 gen z's together in a place um they will have gone through each other i mean they will have had sex with each other um more like um if you also gather all the gen z's in nigeria um the amount of sex they've all had can um, power their beloved country <laughs> Next question. Tell me two things that you don't like about millennials. Uh, one of the things I hate about them is that they, they like acting like they know everything. Can I say I'm shaking my head like this because millennials are suffering. They are like five and six. Turn the fire. They always love going out and calling people. Yes, sir. 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 See, if they don't hustle, struggle under the sun, they believe they cannot make it for life. You don't have to, so you can never make, you can never make it. They, they feel without salary earning, they cannot live life. I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. Check out the music now. Most of them, most of these millennials and they are the ones singing, if I broke down my business because they are always suffering. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. If I broke down my business. Yeah, others do not, they know nothing to follow. Yeah. Their, their life is all about, let's struggle so, under the sun. Which guy suffer with this? They always feel that because they've lived longer, they have more experience. So my age in the place, I don't know if you're quiet. So my age in the They've forgotten that this is, um, this is a jet age where even a child who is 10 can have a phone and he has more experience than you do. They feel being boring and empty is how life should be. If that's how your life is, that's cool. Like, 
Don't make everyone like the same with you. They like acting smart. Meanwhile, they know nothing. They feel like um, those people in those times, like they were the ones who got the best home training, and then we, now we be sport brat. I can't go back to them. Why is your mindset in one direction? For what? Why? Be open to new things. Okay, something new has happened. Something new has come out. Something is trending. Try it. Woman, 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 woman. If it's a new style, try it. And two, stop looking at Gen Z's. Piercings, tattoos, hair color, rings. It's a fashion statement. What are those? Oh, mama, they are earrings. I pierced my ears. Jesu! Oh my days, Roma worry to your love. There's nothing wrong with us. It's just a fashion statement. I will tear your mouth, you know me? You wonder why we're always looking at you like that? Because you people look mad. You people look mad. Why are you? Why then? We're finding, we're expressing who we are, our characters. You see how the maddest judge they graduate? If they go up. You will know a millennial person as soon as you see the person. Gen Z, you will know too. And you cannot predict how a Gen Z is going to come out. You see? And that's the thing, be spontaneous. Why? I am in pain. Every day, everybody can already She's going to wear this shirt, this and this wig and slippers. I am in severe pain. Be creative, fam. They steal our ideas, like, you know what I mean? Look at the glass now. Look at the glass he's wearing. Now we get them. In their time, there was no glass like this. I was dressed with everything. You see those guys now, those days in the 90s, wear the baggy jeans, wear the pictures, like... When we look at our dresses these days, I mean, he's he's me the millennial. Look at, he's trying to be like me. Look at, look at what he's wearing. His name. Now, they even, they even value our lifestyle, but they don't want to show it. You understand? They pretend as if what we're doing is boring. Meanwhile, they... Use Konakona, use Konakona, they enter our show, you understand? I mean, those days in the millennium, they dress like this. One thing I hate about them, they love her returns. What did you say? They love her returns. They love, they love, they, they love her people's property. Jesus, Jesus. And my papa go soon die. Ha <laughs> ha, blood of Jesus. And I'm going to take over the house later on. You can't you hustle for your own. Hustle one. We, we, the Jesus, that we, we believe that we can be boss on our own. But where? I can be boss in my room. Oh, just to open my laptop, bring my phone. Just do what, what, what I have to do and I will be cashing out well. You are just a forward man. Fraud! Fraud! Why you are under the sun singing out God's school? Scam, do you want to kill yourself? <laughs> Something will kill him, man. Shut up, my friend. So, tell me two things that let you know that this person is a Gen Z. First of all, he's dressing. Um, he dressed like a hobo. What do you think the meaning of this one? What do you think a hobo is? Someone who dresses as if um, he has no home. Coco oh, Michael. Finish him. First off, you see that they have very crazy hairstyles. <laughs> And secondly, they have tattoos on their body. You know you can be prosecuted for that! And the very obvious one, they dress like mad people. Mad. Your, your clothes is like a thrift clothes. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! You have budget and pata pata! Okay, Kali Lee Lugo now. Recovery! Coco Michael. Michael. Can I get drama? They all try to look like they are fashion oriented. Like, like they know what they are wearing. They don't. I don't think I'm the drama. Please, I see this missing like... A couple of chains because um, they dress as if they're going to sell chains on the street. Coco oh, Michael. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Okay, if I have to go back, I can go back to your hair. I probably left that. My hair is, <laughs> I, I, See, my hair is much better than yours. Look at the hairline. Hairline, look at the hairline. Where's your hairline though? We tried to have a Gen Z haircut, but your baba failed. Yo, what's up, bro? Wale, if I slap you. I'm sure your baba is a millennial, right? No, 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 no. There, There's no side haircut. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you know if I was a bad guy? Oh, man, just so calm. I know you're losing. He's losing hair. He's like... No. He's losing hair, but he's, he's you know, <laughs> yeah, I do know this is the kind of best that he does. So I'm not trying to calm down, chill. I'm not so I'm not trying to copy him. This is not done by maybe Santa So or whatever it is that you listen to now, the chap guys. So do you understand? So calm down, chill. When, when you came in actually, when you came in this morning, I was in, I was actually thinking you you brought like a nest. Ah. You know, you know a nest where like beds stay. Go, 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 go. They are quite 
undecisive. Like okay. yeah, that generation is quite funny. So yeah, as I come in, we we'll just I just ah today they like this, tomorrow they, they like that. Are you serious? Today they want to be a guy to the next day they are girls. Just imagine. For example, now look at the layered fake jewelry on her. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cry, don't cry. Why are you wearing bead and cross and what is all this? I don't know. You don't know. Emotional damage. And then secondly, the dressing. I mean, are you a toddler or what's going on? Why are you dressing like a cow? You wanna be tough, better do what you can. Who's your crush? My crush is Park Jimmy. Hold up. Now I'm panicking. I'm really cool. They don't even know the difference between Instagram and real life. Why are you crying? Do you know Park Jimmy? <laughs> Not personally. You know. Don't know him. Why do you like him? Because he's he's fine. <laughs> About your yeah, choice of music. Um, so I want to ask you a question. Do you know Ebenezer Obey? Yeah, I do. Do you listen to his song? No, I don't. Do you know King Sonia Ade? Yeah, I do. Listen to his song? No, I don't. What song do you listen to? I listen to rock. What do you that? So you're trying to use it against me? I listen to rock. So people like them, they, they keep saying trap lanjer, trap lanjer. Trap lanjer. DJ YK Mule. I don't want to die young like a Balumo. I want to die young like a Balumo. Never in the end of the Balenciaga. No, you never did any job. What's that Balumo doing in the song again now? Uh? That's the kind of song you listen to. What if I die young could die young? It's not my business. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even imagine? Okay, now let me ask you again. Who's your favorite artist? BTS. Huh? What's BTS? Bang Tang Song Yedan, also known as Beyond. Power for my friends will be this guy. He sings. Sorry. Beyond the scenes. Beyond the scenes. Yes. Sing one. Sing one of your favorite, maybe favorite line in one BTS song. One, two, ready, go. Hey, <laughs> talk man. Let it off like dynamite. Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's beautiful, no doubt. But something seriously is missing. <laughs> Those are the kind of song. Their music taste is zero. Mm. I leave it for God. It will destroy it for me. Yeah. Tell me two things that you see in someone that lets you know that this person is a millennial. First of all, they are boring attitude. Like they are too boring. Second of all, when they meet you, they are always asking about your age. But they follow you to talk. Next thing, how old are you? How old are they? they want to know if you are of age to talk to them or so. Yeah, basically, the first thing I notice when I see a millennial, they are dressing. They are dressing now. Man, their dressing is always funny. The type of dressing that you can't even talk about. I mean, you see those millennials now, they wear, they wear like um, clothes with strap. Uh -huh. And you see, they still put on tie with strap. Uh -huh. I mean, those two things are, are contradicting. You know, these guys, it's for those guys are from the millennials. Is it funny? No, it's not funny. Is it funny? No, it's not funny. Number one, that way. Yeah! 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 Short black with both straight is the first one. The second one, fancy slippers. <laughs> it was just the little. <laughs> if they don't wear fancy slippers, they've not come outside. Is it that furry or is shiny? And see, what happened? You don't have Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cry, don't cry. Number three, the windshield they see on their eyes. Ask my why. I'm not ready. Why are you covering your whole eyebrow? If you see me as a girl from America, you know they look in skin. Then when someone hits you, it will just be here. White. Everywhere else will be black. I keep person. <laughs> and their color, their clothing, is always the same. It's like uniform. You don't know how to express yourselves. Is it that a skirt or a shirt? Mix it up. Change your shirt. Wear it inside out. I do something. Oh. That one there was a violation, personally, I wouldn't have it. If you had to give millennials a piece of advice, what advice would you give them? Enjoy life. That's my advice. Man, these people feel like before you can, they believe before you can make money, you have to like be running inside the sun from 9 to 5 or 9 to 9. And then meanwhile, they are jealous of us, because why? 
now there's mobile um, mobile um, jobs and everything so they should enjoy like they should flex made they made they flex made they stop the carry this world load for their head that's my advice with Gen Z I ain't doing that nigga millennials millennials you people should be true to yourselves stop it if you want to leave that relationship leave it this relationship is over if you think that I'm going to not be in a relationship with you, you got life messed up. This book is giving you shackles vibes. Drop it. Well, thanks for the start. I'm out of here. It's not by force. Do what makes you happy. I just want to be happy. Me, I'm happy because I'm doing whatever I want to do. Living my best life. No regret. Vinci. We only live once now. We only live once. I beg. So, if you were to give a piece of advice to the Gen Zs, what advice would that be? I would just say, say they should look up to. They should look up to. They should, they, should they should learn from the best. There's a lot of people say they're the best and they're not the best. I say we the best. All these Gen Zs things. This is a sobo. They are just cold sobo. sobo. It doesn't hold water. You know, we started it, started most of it. You know, the, the whole baggy gen. They are just like rebranding what you know we have done before mm. or is it even the 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 slim fit body hog stuff oh, wow, we don't wear all those things now so it's not new at all <laughs> you guys take your time and grow up mm? don't be in a hurry i mean enjoy your life what you have ahead of you is is very gigantic okay. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> stop wasting time spending money going to the parties who tried me? Clubbing, drinking, trying to impress. Who they impress? I beg, go let me want yourself if they do my own. I don't want trouble. You not get money, they try and impress. How? Why? Don't ask me that stupid question. So grow up, you guys. Take your time and be responsible, basically. You have to be responsible. I mean, look at me. <laughs> responsible looking young man. So. <laughs> Instagram is not real life. Nah. I don't know other jobs apart from influencing jobs. What kind of be a lawyer, be a doctor. Which one is you'll be carrying phone and be snapping and be posting selfies two for seven? Even now, nah, I don't know what you want yours to. You can do anything. Just leave social media alone. Do something else. And please, 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 learn to be clean. Today has been a very, very interesting day. I've learned a lot. I've seen a lot. I've heard a lot. But you guys tell me, which of all these surprised you the most? Drop it in the comment section below. And which other battles would you like us to do? Also drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell another friend that Cracks TV drops amazing content all the time. Join our family. We need you. You need us. All of us, we need each other. Until I see you guys another time, peace out.